Hello, welcome back. Now, in this lecture, we will discuss about the different components of engine. What are the different components or major components of the engine? And the second objective is to understand the construction, function and material of engine components because these are the three major parameters which are very important as far as the component is concerned any component of the engine so these are the major components of an engine we can see from cylinder block to cylinder head is above the block there is a cylinder head in which all the walls and all mechanism is installed then crankcase oil pan cylinder liners gaskets piston piston pins <clears throat> piston rings connecting rod crankshaft, wall and wall mechanism, timing gear, camshaft, inlet and exhaust manifold and exhaust muffler. These are the 16 components we will discuss today. Now here you can observe all the above listed components in the engine. Here uh, what we have uh, name is the cylinder block but you can see cylinder block here it is named as a engine block. Now this engine block is nothing nothing but where in which the cylinder is cylinder is uh, there and in inside the cylinder there is a piston. So above this there is a cylinder head above this there is a cylinder head. Now connecting rod is there this crank is crank shaft is there then counterweight to the crank shaft then wall mechanism this is the wall mechanism of where which is operated on the above side then here you can see the gaskets then this is cylinder head then cylinder block engine block then oil pan then exhaust manifold this is inlet manifold from which the inlet air and fuel, fuel mixture can be taken in exhaust is the to which the silencer is attached the exhaust manifold then all the other component this is the cover cylinder head cover then all these components we will discuss one by one here also you can observe the more complicated engine in which but the components are same rather more names are given more components are attached in this engine you can observe more names are there. but here also exhaust wall inlet wall this is piston, then injector, then injector in a cylinder, and fuel pump. Uh, you have learned all these components in IC engine. Now we will learn these components in detail. This is crankshaft again here, then starter motor. It is another part of the engine. Oil pump, then all this uh, dumper. AC unit is also there. This is the belt. Uh, through which all the other components are rotated all these components you can observe in this figure also you can observe this is the crankcase uh, sorry crankshaft then this is connecting rod piston this is wall mechanism then cam cam mechanism camshaft is there so this cam wall operated these are the different steps of the piston see how here the crankshaft is made crankshaft it converts the reciprocating motion into rotary motion that's why it is designed like this so these are the components we will discuss these components in details here i have shown the all the components in open manner disassembled manner these are these components you can observe this is the connecting rod piston crankshaft cylinder block you can this uh, all in almost all the engine the similar parts you can observe this is piston on which piston rings are installed then this is connecting rod in this engine also you can observe these parts alternator and radiator all we, we have discussed this in earlier period now what are the functions of the different components of an engine how they are constructed and what is the material for manufacturing these components 
these are the three questions it must arrive it must raise in our mind while discussing the engine now first component we'll discuss about the cylinder block cylinder block this is why it is called cylinder block because all cylinders are bored in it this these are the cylinders C cylinder bores are there so here the piston is placed in this cylinders and this is a one single unit made up of generally made up of cast iron but nowadays it is con uh, it uh, it is made up of aluminium alloys because here as the cylinder is uh, in inside the cylinder block therefore the combustion is taking place in this place and here itself a heat is generated which must be dissipated to the atmosphere or it must be transferred through the cooling jackets all the cooling jackets are also is uh, bored in in this cylinder block so that the water will get circulated from one area to another in heat is taken out from this area then if you see the construction wise the cylinder block is the structure which contains uh, which con contains the i already told you this cylinder and other parts of the internal combustion engine in an early automotive engine the engine block consists of just a cylinder block which is separate uh, which is separate crank crankcase was attached but modern engine blocks have the crankcase integrated because crank uh, this was this was placed on a crankcase but now all the components including crankcase is uh, fitted in the cylinder block then what is the function of this uh, cylinder block the engine block uh, so engine block or the cylinder block contains cylindrically bored holes for the pistons and ways to attach other components such as the cylinder head cylinder head is placed on the upper side of this cylinder block so that the wall mechanism will get operated from this cylinder head now including gaskets walls and seals all parts are installed in and the material i have talk about the material okay we will move to the next cylinder head just just now i told you the where is the how the cylinder head is there cylinder cylinder head is a uh, place on the top side of the um, uh, block top side of this cylinder uh, uh, cylinder block so what is the function of the cylinder head the function of the cylinder head to operate the wall mechanism or to install the wall mechanism here a simplified diagram you can observe that this is the cylinder head this portion which portion this engine head cylinder head this upper portion then this is engine block this is oil oil sum engine block and oil sum you can observe this uh, from this figure now what is the function of this uh, cylinder head it conveys air and gasoline to the combustion chamber and serve as a cover for the cylinder the main function of the cylinder head is to help the head gasket seal the cylinder cylinders properly so that they are able to build in a compression for engine operation because uh, below this we have discussed uh, in the earlier slide below this there is a cylinder and piston cylinder so compression is taking place like this now uh, it should not leak from here so it is properly sealed with the help of gasket the gaskets are you can see in this figure the gaskets are installed on the bottom side of this cylinder head and uh, it acts as a sealant for from the above upper side of the cylinder block so that the gases will not leak generally made up of cast iron and in modern cars it is made up of aluminum alloys it is made up of aluminum alloys now crankcase crankcase this is the portion of the crankcase you can observe the portion of crank where is the crank crank is this is the crank 
crank converts your reciprocating motion into rotary motion. Your crank converts your reciprocating motion of the piston into rotary motion. Now this is the case which covers from the bottom side it covers. But in modern engine you can you you can differentiate between these two figures. In modern engine there is no crank as such there is no crank case which is separate separate here. It is an integral part of the whole body or cylinder block. Now here you can differentiate the head head is this is the head cylinder head and this is cylinder block or engine block and crank case is similarly attached from the bottom side of the piston or uh, bottom side of the cylinder block so whole body acts as a engine but in earlier days this was a crank case so crank case is the housing housing for the crankshaft in reciprocating internal combustion engine in most modern engines the crankcase is integrated into i have just told you that it is integrated into engine block crank crankcase is the bottom most part of the engine it is actually covers the crankshaft of the engine it also support the crankshaft bearing from the bottom side bearings these are the places for the bearings on which the crankshaft this crankshaft will rest see here you can observe this here generally made up of cast iron aluminium alloy and magnesium materials in the modern case it is aluminium alloys and magnesium material but generally made up of cast iron so this is the crankshaft of the engine now similarly below the crankshaft you will find the oil pan now oil pan you can uh, observe this oil pan on the engine side uh, below the crankshaft you will find this is the pulley of the crankshaft from which the power is taken now this is the oil pan what is the function of the oil pan the function of the oil pan is to act as an oil reservoir because to, to the whole engine we need to supply a oil for lubrication and this this acts as a this oil pan acts as a reservoir here there is a pump one pump is installed here and from this pump the to the whole engine including the topmost uh, portion that is wall mechanism including wall mechanism and the um, cylinder block you uh, you need to supply oil so that the all parts the moving parts get lubricated so it's a sp spot for the oil to collect and all after lubrication the oil will be again uh, come back to this pan and it is collected so where, where the it cools because uh, all parts are get heated and you are lubricating those parts so oil gets naturally heated and uh, the heated oil come back and it is collected in this um, oil pan and here it gets cooled and again it is uh, you can lift it with the help of pump and again it can be recirculated where filters are there so that the sediments and dust cannot be recirculated again it's a place for impurities in the oil to settle and it has a drain to allow for removal of the old oil because this is the drainage point so after every uh, 10,000 or 12,000 uh, kilometers we need to change this oil because it gets heated and cooled that's why it, its property it loses its property after some time so it is to be replaced pan, uh, the pan is usually made of steel or aluminium so these are the components this is the first part of this uh, lecture in the second part we will discuss some more components thank you